On the Andy Moore Automotive Group Hotline, the head coach of the Pacers, Nate McMillan, joins us now. Hey, Nate, how you doing? I'm doing good. Doing okay. I know it was a rough one last night, and I, I hate to bring up the negative first, but I, it's because I hadn't seen something like that in a while. H- had you ever been a part of a team on any level that had a 24-zip run slammed up against them? I haven't seen anything like that either. Uh <laughs> I mean that was uh, that was amazing. I mean, just we couldn't get any stops. Uh, we couldn't score the ball. I think we missed about six layups uh, during that stretch, is what I counted uh, off the video last night. Um, we had some good looks and just could not knock down shots. But you know, the big key in that situation, your defense uh, couldn't get any stops and uh, you know uh, get control of that that run that they was making you know you bring up a great point and nate mcmillan joins us because we have seen some of these runs and we'll get into that third quarter stuff and and some late game stuff you know people have kind of pointed the finger nate at at the offense or lack of production during those moments which might be correct but i would agree with you a lot of times it's the defensive stops that just aren't at those right moments that you're getting well you know we had open looks uh that you normally knock down those shots and it happens you know it's just this is very similar to a team being up 20 uh, in the fourth and uh, teams go on runs and they get momentum and all of a sudden, you know, with the three-point line, uh, you can you can score 20, 24 points uh, very quickly. Uh, defensively, we could not get any stops. Uh, yep. They just came down and they were hitting everything, getting to the basket. Uh, they were hitting threes. And uh, we just could not stop that momentum, man. You know, uh, you know, things like that sometimes happen. Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Nate McMillan joins us. And then you think about the first half where the Thunder couldn't throw it in the ocean from three, and then they started knocking them down in the third quarter. And we've seen that across the board, especially on that four, uh, Western uh, road swing of four games, too. It's just It kind of comes in bunches um, against you guys in threes. Well, yeah, again, you know, um, we got off to a, a pretty solid start. And, uh, you know, we actually scored the first two baskets, uh, first two possessions in the third quarter last night. Uh, and then they got hot. We knew they would come out aggressive. Uh, and uh, Westbrook and Paul would start to put their head down and try to get to the basket and make some things happen. They, they uh, started to do that. Uh, they were scoring. Uh, we were missing shots. And uh, we was able to kind of get control of that uh, in the third quarter. We was only down six, seven points uh, going into that fourth quarter. So the game is, we're still in reach to win, you know, you know, to get control of that game and win the game. Uh, but they continue to make big shots, big timely shots uh, in that game. And, uh, you know, we – just could not, you know, get over the hump, you know, get the lead and, and, and win that game last night. And uh, that's kind of been the story uh, on the, on these road games. Uh, we're having bad quarters where we can't get stops. Uh, we're trying to uh, – we can't score. And, uh, you know, we're trying to – we're struggling to find uh, someone who could put the ball in the basket for us. So, uh, we have to just keep working at it. Yeah, Nate McMillan's on the Andy Moore Automotive Group hotline. This was reported last week. And um, what do you think the time that you had to sit down with Tyreek Evans uh, and you guys kind of talk back and forth about things? Compare that moment to where he is right now. Do you feel um, that has helped him a great deal production wise since that time? Yeah, well, we, we talk, I talk with all my players. You know, so yeah. they go they go through stretches uh, where. You know, maybe they have a game or two where things are not going well. And, you know, you talk about, you know, the, the, their rotation and what is needed. Uh, that's no different uh, than what I did with uh, Tyreek. And we need him uh, to be able to create offense for us. Uh, losing Victor has really, uh, you know, it took a lot from us. You know, he was the guy that uh, when teams switch, uh, he was the guy that we gave the ball to and he could create offense uh, for us, whether he was uh, scoring himself or creating opportunities uh, uh, for his teammates. Uh, Tyreek is the guy that we feel is closest to that, uh, where if uh, teams are switching, uh, he's able to create offense for us 
uh, you know, for himself or for his teammates. And we really need him uh, to uh, play and play well and be aggressive. And, you know, those are the things that we talked about. Uh, you know, we, we're trying to put the ball in his hands uh, a little bit more uh, than we have uh, early in the season because of playing without Victor. We need that guy, uh, another guy out there, uh, you know, creating offense for us. And as you saw last night, there, there are just times where we can't score. Uh, we're struggling to uh, put the ball in the basket. Yeah, no doubt. Nate McMillan joins us. Pacers 45-30 and 30 in Boston coming up tomorrow night. Um, you, you look at this season as, as a whole. If, if I were to tell you this is how many games you would be without Victor Oladipo, would it have surprised you that your team to this point would have won 45 games, Nate? Uh, you know, I don't. I don't get into uh, l- looking at the, uh, uh, you know, the schedule and predicting uh, how many games we're going to win and and all of that. You know, we basically. I really do take it one game at a time, and I try to prepare the team uh, to uh, be at their best, uh, be connected uh, throughout the season. Uh, we play the game a certain way. We play the game. We want to play that game hard. We want to give maximum f- effort. Uh, we want to play the game together. I think when you do those uh, two things, you're going to give yourself a chance to win regardless of who is in uniform. And, uh, you know, uh, injuries, uh, foul trouble, you're going to be without players uh, during uh, times of the season. What we try to do is uh, our assistant our coaches and our players that are not playing – uh, a lot, you know, that 10th, 11th, 12th man. We try to keep those guys mentally, physically ready to go because injuries are going to happen. You you never uh, really think about a player being out for the season, but being out for a couple games, uh, you try to p- prepare your team and your players for that. Uh, so when Victor goes out for the season, uh, it's really a next man up mentality for us is, 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 you know, you can't focus on uh, being without Victor. You got to focus on who you have in uniform. And uh, that's what we've tried to do. Uh, you know, it was good that we uh, uh, got off to a, a pretty good start uh, this season because we did look at the schedule and, and, and knew that this time of the year, yeah. it would be a challenge. Even with Victor, this would be a challenge uh going down the stretch with the schedule that we have. And we've been able to get ourselves in the playoff. And uh, now what we're trying to do is just grind it out and uh, try to get the highest seed that we can. Nate, most teams have closers, especially the elite-level NBA teams. Uh, are you a closer by committee right now, or in your opinion, is absolutely. that bold? I hate to cut you off, but yeah. absolutely. It, it is by committee. Yeah. And that's what that's what we don't have, and that's where the struggle uh, is is coming in uh, at you know we got guys who are now put you know been put in that position. I think we can still do it. I think we have to do it collectively. There's not one guy that we can give the ball to and say go get us a basket or go create uh, some offense that uh, uh, that's going to to uh, to give us a basket. I, we have to do it collectively. We have to do it together. Uh, you know, and, and this is new for this team. You know, Victor has been that guy uh, the last two seasons uh, that uh, we have put the ball in his hands, and he's made plays for us. Now we are developing, trying to develop that guy in these big games. Is that, um, is that something you do? I mean, do you, do you uh, like just see who's hot down the stretch and say, guys, go to him? Or is that something that you trust that, that your guys – collectively can figure out nate well we we do it we do it, we, we have to do that together uh right. you know there's there's plays we do design plays for uh certain guys and certain matchups and uh we try to take advantage of those matchups and uh you know uh, a lot of times it's you, you know who's hot who's who, who's not um um but right now probably our number one uh option is 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 uh Bogey, you know, uh, Badanovich, he's a guy that's been doing some good things for, for us. Uh, we've, you know, uh, really uh, given him more plays. Uh, we're allowing him to play with the ball, more pick and rolls than he's, uh, he has played uh, or ran uh, 
his year and a half here. Uh, so he is a guy that we, we have looked to put the ball in his hands late, but it's also Darren Collison. Uh, you know, Tyreek, uh, we, we've uh, put the ball in his hands. You know, Domas and, and Thaddeus have been good on the, in the post-up. So we kind of do it by committee. Uh, we have a feel for, uh, you know, the flow of the game and uh, what teams are doing for us uh, defending, defending us. And uh, we make those adjustments. We try to adapt during the game. Hey, Nate, final thing, and then I'll, I'll let you bail here. Uh, Nate McMillan's on the Andy Moore Automotive Group hotline. I know you guys take games one by one, there's no doubt. But you can see coming up tomorrow night that this is, as far as regular season and standings are concerned, a big one. Uh, is that a tough one to kind of hold down as just another during the course of the regular season schedule tomorrow night in Boston? You know, I've talked to people about it is a big one. But uh, if, if you t- – if you took care of business early in the season, uh, it would still be a big one. Sure. You know, so they all are big. We, we totally understand that. Uh, we're not going to put any more pressure on ourselves than, uh, than we have to. It's a regular season game. It's one of 82. Uh, we certainly know the importance of this game. But, uh, you know, it, losing last night's game made this game even more important. You know, so last night's game was a big one. All yeah. of them are big. They, they're, they're not there's all games are big and we we understand that uh we know where we are uh in this race and uh you know what we're trying to do is get a win on the road you yeah. know it's been a while since we've uh, won a road game well i was going to mention that in closing you reminded them last night before the game they lost eight consecutive are you going to remind them tomorrow night that they've lost nine straight or is that something well, you don't well, have to I, do I, nate I hope they know that we we <laughs> talked about uh, they we had dropped eight and uh, we lost last night. So I, I think they uh, know that uh, uh, you drop one last night that'll make nine. So uh, we know that we we know where we are and uh, and what we have to do. Yeah, the right. focus is uh, to try to take care of business hey, uh, in Boston tomorrow. Ma- night. Make sure Benner gets on the plane. All right, so uh, don't leave him behind. He's- He's standing here waiting for me. Oh, so I'm sure he's, he's like tapping his watch. Allow <laughs> me to pass him without uh, bringing him along. <laughs> Nate, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, All right. Nate McMillan's on the Andy Moore Automotive Group hotline right there. A couple of things I want to add to, and we'll get back to this on the other side. We had talked about the whole closing by committee thing without Vic. Um, that is, in this era of the NBA, is incredibly tough to do because most teams, um, most teams have that go-to guy. But I, we know this, right? This is not most teams. We have been fascinated. We have been thrilled with a lot of what they have accomplished. But given their circumstances and their position right now, you're, you're always looking for more. And you want more. And believe me, the downplaying of tomorrow night's game or maybe the final two they have coming up here to end the season with Boston – downplaying it is something that Nate's going to do to me and going to do for your benefit. But believe me, uh, there is no doubt that this thing is not your average, not your regular, regular season type of game in Boston coming up tomorrow night. And Nate McMillan on the Andy Moore Automotive Group Hotline, a little bit of a window into how he's trying to handle a couple of things. Just the breakdowns we have seen in the third and the fourth quarter, most of the third quarter here recently, and then trying to handle the situation late in closing time when you don't have your closer. Nate McMillan, Andy Moore, Automotive Group Hotline. More on that and a lot more of the show. We're back with you next.